We're recording. Yes, it appears so. All right then. This makes me nervous having the camera mounted to the tank. Let's see how it does. Thing is though, if it falls off, I should see the mic fall out of my helmet and I'll immediately know to stop and get the camera. But hopefully it just won't fall off. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear me. We'll see how good this mic does in the wind. Yep. So I just spent the day, or the, uh, the night, visiting my sister. I'm on the way back to Texas. Um, yeah, so I had breakfast with my sister, it was nice. And uh, I stayed with a friend of hers, slept in their dorm. And uh, got, you know, he asked me, okay, what kind of bike do you ride? And then I told him, <clears throat> he's like, yeah, I've been thinking about getting a bike. Um, and I was like, no, oh, yeah, what, what are you looking for? And he's like, I don't know, maybe just like a GSXR thousand or something, you know. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, have you ridden before? And he's like, no. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, some people say start small, but you know, whatever. And I was like, yeah, well, um, you're not really gonna. Thing is, uh, starting with a bike like that, really, you're never gonna become a good rider. You're spoiled with power. You don't you don't really learn to shift well because you don't need to shift well. Um, anyway, I suggested a Motard. I was like, yeah, it's a dirt bike that's been converted to a street bike. Basically, it's got street tires and really big brakes, and uh, but because it's a dirt bike, it's very durable and crashable. So it'll take a slide and might not cost you anything. And it's, it's, it's a lot more fun, you know, on the road. Yeah. Anyway, it, sounds, it sounded like he's been talking to talking to folks at dealerships. Uh, which isn't a good way to get into motorcycling. riding advice, go to a, like if you're just getting into it and you don't know anybody who rides a bike, I would go to a motorcycle gear store. Because that way they're not, and you know, ask, ask the folks at a gear store about motorcycles and ask the guys at the, at the dealership about gear. Ask somebody who doesn't sell what you're asking them about. Of course, the dealership's also going to sell gear, but you know, just 
take the take the incentive out of it. Take the um, talk to somebody who doesn't who's not going to profit from what they tell you. Of course, the dealership's going to try to sell you a ZX414 because it's the most expensive thing they have. Get on forums. Um, message, message vloggers on YouTube, moto vloggers. There's a there's some web pages that just talk about like good beginner bikes, and and there's or there's I've seen forums, um, like threads on forums where that they're just they're talking about nothing but uh, what what's the best what's the ideal beginner bike. You know, you, you get all kinds of opinions on a, on a site like that. But I'll tell you one thing, no one is telling you that a thousand cc is a good beginner bike. People have this uh, notion that anything less they're not going to be satisfied with. You know, that's not where the fun is. It really isn't. It is on a track. That would be exhilarating on a track because it's an improved surface. You have sweeping turns, and it's uh, it's made for that. You know, it's designed. It's carefully planned for to to take advantage of a machine like that and let you really use it. You know, and and likewise, the bikes are designed for a track. They're designed for for those kind of roads. Something like a bike like this, which is not insanely powerful. It's uh, about 73 horsepower, which I think I could stand a tad more, but you know, it, it's really, it, it is, it's satisfying. It's like, it's got plenty of, you know, pull at the top end to, to make turns really, really satisfying. And um, it, just, it just makes me happy, you know? Or a bike like a Motard would be a absolute riot. That would be so much fun. I mean, you could take it on any road. I mean, you know, they're not they're not the most at home on interstate or long distance, like high speed. They're pretty shaky. But for just exploring, like, there is nothing better. There's just nothing better. You have all that versatility and, uh, ruggedness. They're extremely maneuverable. Sometimes I think about like, okay, if I had, you know, more money and more space, what kind of bikes would I have? Because I'd have more than one, obviously. I think most of us would. Um, I know I would have a Motard, and I know I would have a good sport bike. And probably something else, something that would be ideal for like long distance, but not. A, I'm, not I'm not talking about like a cruiser Goldwing kind of thing. I mean more of something more like a. I don't know. Uh, something in the 800 range, sporty, sort of a 800-ish sport touring kind of bike. Um, but still fairly light. I don't. I don't want anything more than you know, 450 pounds, maybe 500, but nothing really beyond that. I just don't. I, to me, big like bikes that get really heavy just lose their appeal to me. Just because that's what I like about motorcycling is that it's a small machine. You know, that's one of the things that just makes this so great. I can tell it where to go rather than suggest.